said unto the church, the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write this thing. Said he that is holy, he that is true, he that had the key of David, he that hopeth and no man He that shut it and no man open it. I know your work. Yes, sir. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, mm. and no man can shut it. For thou art a little strength, and hast kept my work, yes, and hast not denied my name. The Lord asked me to tell you today. Mm. There has kept an open door for you. Amen. No man can shut it. Amen. He that has promised is able to keep it. Yes, sir. That's it. Mm. He said, I should let you know that he's doing a new thing in your life. Amen. He further entreated it. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 1, he said, Let not your heart be troubled. You have accommodation problem. Let not your heart be troubled. You have marital stress. Let not your heart be troubled. They are threatening you with sacred and that place of God. He said, Let not your heart be He believed in God. Believe also in me. Yes, sir. Mm. I want you to just open your mouth and just say, Father, I believe in you, God. I believe in your son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. You will never leave me nor forsake me. Open your mouth and just pray that prayer. It's a prayer of confirmation. I believe in the sweet Holy Spirit. He said, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. He is a faithful God. He does not mind. He's not in the business of cajoling you. It's in the word of the Lord. He is too faithful to fail. He is too faithful to leave you halfway. He will not leave you halfway. Whatever he says, he brings it to pass. He will surely bring it to pass. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The eternal rock of ages. I worship. Father, I thank you for the hour has come for the people to be fed the word of God. We will not only be fed the word of God, we will also be fed with your flesh and your blood. Father, we pray, let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Let all man be glorified. And let you alone in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray and we ask that this day your word will be here and amen in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we worship. Thank you, Lord. You are the I am that I am. You are the Elohim, the Elohim. The Elohim. Father, we thank you just for not do. Whatever you say, you bring it to pass. Our Father, I will go to Adaba Matepa. Oba and Oba Tinje, Mini, Mini Matepe. Alaba Daina, I will tell you. Father, we thank you. We exalt your holy name. We say, take glory, take honor, and adoration. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. You may have your seat in the house. Our God is good. All the time. All the time. Our God is good. You will agree with me that this is the first Sunday of the month of March 2021. So the year is moving on. The first quarter is almost over. Praise the Lord. We saw January. We saw February. And here we are. Has the Lord not been faithful to us? 
And our theme for this year remains great reward. Lest you forget. Praise the Lord. You are not supposed to forget. You are supposed to keep it in your heart. And walk in it. Write it down. Praise the Lord. And we took our same scripture from Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. It said, let us not be weary in well doing. For in this season we shall reap. Let not be weary in what? Well doing. For in this season, what will happen? What is the proverb say? If we faint not. Praise the Lord. So the battle does not belong to the strong, nor the race to the swift. Is the Lord that shows what? The grace of God will keep you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not faint. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He has not called you for nothing. And he's going to bless you. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, he said, You may write it down if you wish. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable. This year, 2021. The Bible asks you to tell you. Be ye what? And unmovable. Always abiding in the work of the Lord. Don't be a bench woman if you want to be blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Always abound in the work of the for as much as ye you know that your labor is not in vain. Your labor will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. The labor of love in the vineyards of the Lord will never be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. The intercessory prayers for our prayer will never be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your calls, your tests, your visitation will never be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your teaching, your offering, your singing, your worship, it will never be in vain. Your giving will never be in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You always make yourself available on Sunday. And when God gives you the grace, you are here on Wednesday, not forsaking the assembly of one another. I'm here to declare to you that the Lord God Almighty, whom you serve, will reward you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And we are in the month of March. I think it's, it speaks for itself. March. And that means marching forward. You are not moving backward. Bible says, Yea, I have dwelt too long in this month. Tell them. Tell them to do what? Moses said, Why cry to me? You will receive the grace to move forward. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So this month, March 2021, is theme, our month of divine advancement and grace celebration. Amen. Divine advancement and grace celebration. Divine advancement means that God Almighty will move you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And great acceleration is very, very interesting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It looks like moving forward, but it's greater than that. There is speed added to it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And something that is also very unique and important. You will gain opportunities. Amen. What it seems that you have lost, has the Lord granted you the speed? You will cover them all. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to open your Bible to First Kings chapter 18, verse 46. These are the verses you have to be using this month. There are three of them that are carefully selected. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I know that the Lord God Almighty will give you the grace to read it and in 
internalizing. Praise the Lord. Are we there? First King chapter 18, verse 46. Then the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, giving him supernatural strength. The hand of the Lord will come upon you. In this month of March, the hand of the Lord will come upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In everything that you do, in your business, in your venture, he will give you divine strength, supernatural strength. And the Bible said, he guided up his loin and outran Ahab to the entrance of Jezre, nearly 20 miles. Praise the Lord. This man was on foot. The king was on what? Chariot. Chariot is not just one horse. They are horses. Yes, we have one horse chariot. Praise the Lord. But some chariot, especially belonging to food, mm. has up to maybe six, five, or ten horses. And when they combine speed, it's like the speed of conquer. Mm. Mm. Praise the Lord. Can you compare the speed of the helicopter with that of uh, uh, jets? Or from that of jets with the Concord? No. But the Bible says he took off because the man told him, Look, run! The rain is coming. It has not rained for three and a half years. And when they look, he was dancing. So the man took off. The man of God had no chance. The man of God had no horses. He was on foot. The king did not carry him. But the Bible said, the Lord and was upon him. And he received supernatural strength. In this month of March, you will receive supernatural strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, Exodus. Do well to write it down. Not going to dwell too much on it. Exodus chapter 14, verse 13 down to 15. We're going to slow down. I will enjoy us from this for one another. Are we there? Yes. Exodus. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Don't be afraid. Don't be what? Afraid. Is there anything that is making you to be afraid? The school fees that you need to pay now? Don't be afraid. What is that thing? Your health. Lord has me to tell you, fear not. Don't be afraid. Praise the Lord. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The salvation of the Lord is the strength of the Lord. Is the glory of the Lord. The redemptive power of Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Which he will show you this day. This month of March, the Lord will show you his salvation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord will show you his redemption. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For the Egyptians you see today, the trouble, the ill health, the disappointment, they kept promising and failing. The I am that I am happy to tell you, the Egyptian that you see today is a seeded woman. Amen. If you believe, so shall it be. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord in verse 14. The Lord God shall fight for you. Amen. You will not need to fight for yourself. You will, you will not need to fight for yourself. Do you know what it takes for the Lord to fight for you? They came against the children of Israel. Kings. Nations gathered up. To fight against the nations. 
But the Lord said, you will not have to fight in this battle. Mm. Choose musicians. Musicians. Instrumentalists. Mm. Let them play instruments. And let them be singing. Praise the Lord. For the Lord is good. And his mercy endureth The Bible told me that the Lord set an ambush against the enemies of the children of the Lord. The Lord will set an ambush against your enemy. Amen. The enemy of your brother, your sister, your household. The strong man in the village. The strong man in the family. The error that is terrorizing. That knows so much about you. That you are even tied together by blood ties. Mm. But today I stand as the oracle of the Lord. And I cut it. Amen. Amen. That blood tied, I join it together. I cut it. Amen. And anywhere they require blood, I cover them. The blood of my Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 15. And the Lord said unto Moses, unto me, speak to the children of Israel that they go forward. Speak to them that they should do what? Go forward. And speak to you. Go forward. Amen. Amen. You will go forward. Amen. In your academic, you go forward. Amen. In your finances, you go forward. Amen. In your dream and vision, you go forward. Amen. Amen. Where you watch and receive divine promotion. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Where you do your business. The Lord will bless you. Amen. You will go forward. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. And the Lord said. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The last verse. Is Amos chapter 9. Verses 13. Chosen to read the message uh, Bible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In all these ones, I've been using uh, King James and uh, NIV. But this one, I've chosen to use the, the message. I love this one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amos chapter 9, 13 down to 15. It says, Yes, indeed, it will not be too long. For you to receive that financial breakthrough. For you to receive that your promised child and carry your baby. The Lord has been to tell you, it will not be too long. Amen. For you to get that your dream job, it will not be too long. Amen. For you to establish that business that you dream so much about, it will not be too long. Amen. For you to be promoted in that your office, it will not be too long. Amen. No, they have neglected you. They have rewarded your hard work with more work. But I decree to the unction of heaven that time for your remembrance is now. Amen. It will not be too long. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast that your head will swing. One thing passed on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep it up. Everything will happen. And we'll be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessing. The Lord has been to tell you, in the south there will be blessing. Amen. In the east there will be blessing. Amen. In the north there will be blessing. Amen. In the west there will be blessing. Amen. Everywhere you look, the Bible said, blessings. Blessings. Like wine pouring up the mountains and hills. I will make everything right again for my people. Amen. The Lord said, I should tell you, I will make things right again for my people. Amen. You have made a mistake. The Lord will forgive you. Amen. The mistake is haunting you. The Lord will forgive you. Amen. You will be liberated. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord said, I will make things right again. Everything seems to be coming up. And you are asking, Lord, why me? He asked me to tell you, for my people Israel, for my people Ephrathah, I will make 
things right again. Amen. For your family, he will make things right again. Amen. Whatever you are going to regain it back. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They will redeem their own secrets. Your businesses, your innovations that you need, mm. the Lord asked me to tell you, you rebuild it. Amen. It seems to be a problem. You rebuild it. Amen. He said they will plant buyers and they will drink the, 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 the good wine. Amen. You are not going to walk for another man to drink. Yes. When you plant a buyer, the Bible said if you will not just drink the wine, you will be the good wine. Yes. There's a difference between wine and good wine. Yes. Remember the marriage of Cain. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. That was the wine. You will drink the good one. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said they will walk their daddies and eat the fresh. Wow. You will not just eat vegetables. You will eat fresh vegetables. Amen. That is what the Lord is saying. And I will plant them. Plant them on their own land. Mm. You will not be scattered. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your feet will not be moved. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the last part, they will never again be uprooted from the land. Amen. And so shall it be in the name of God the Father. Amen. So shall it be in the name of God the Son. Amen. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. This is the vision of the Lord for you. In the month of Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. All the time. All the time. The Lord is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I have much for us today, but I'm going to summarize it. Because if Christ dies, for the next 20, 30, 100 years, we still be eating. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But I will just ask you to open the book of Colossians. Mm -hmm. Come to our story for Open to Colossians chapter 4, verse 17. Are we there? I am not in a hurry today to move. I want to be there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you in Colossians chapter 4, verse 17? Yeah. I want someone to read for me for emphasis before I read from the book again. Verse 17. I am said to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which thou hast. Praise the Lord. Uh, don't sit down this way. Stand up. I want you to put your name here. Because the Archie Paul, the pastor was in a bad place. But now, he has today. Say it again. Colossians chapter 4, verse 17. And say to Raymond, take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou I 
Say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Verse 17, for God sent not his son into the purpose of God sending his son to this world. It's not to condemn this world. Is that through him this world Praise the Lord. Alleluia. And that is why he said in Revelation, I stand at the door of your heart and I do what? If anybody hear me, anybody, whether you are Aousa, whether you are a, 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 a Magiri, whether you are a soldier, you say Ensas, whether you are a Sars, whether you are a police, you say you see police and uh, snake. You see the police first and leave the snake. That's what some people say. But the Bible says, equal. All man. All. May we not fall into the error of generalization. Oh, the Igbos, they are like this. Oh, the Ansas, they are like this. Oh, the Yoruba, they are like this. Oh, this family, they are like this. May that not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said, For God did not send him to this world to condemn this world. But that through him, this world might be what? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 28. Matthew. Matthew chapter 28. Verses 18 to 20. Do we have a reader? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Jesus came and told his disciples. So Jesus came and said unto his disciples, I have been given all authority in all authority in heaven and on earth have been given for me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Verse 20. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this. I am with you always. Praise the Lord. People of God, do you know why we are in the church today now? Do we know why we are in the church? It's for this great commission. Praise the Lord. It's not for the hope of feeding our belly. It's not for the hope of acquiring mansions, private jets, This is not the purpose. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tell them that all power belongs to Jesus. Don't be afraid of principalities and power. Don't be afraid of the people that are threatening in the family. Don't be afraid of the people that are threatening in the village, in the lost earth, all power in heaven and on earth has been given up. Beloved, there are powers. Praise the Lord. We have been given to who? Jesus. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So if the Lord permit any evil to come near you, he will never come near you. And it's still good to permit such. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You drink the gospel and you accept it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will lead people to Christ. And when you lead people to Christ, the Bible says, when you get to heaven, there will be what? Stop in your walk. To get to heaven is one thing. 
to retain a crown which cannot be paid. To ask star in your crown. Praise the Lord. I watch a drama of Queen Baru Christian. She made it to heaven because the people kept pushing her. They kept pushing her. They kept pushing her. They will visit her. They will pray with her. They will. This is our calling, not to condemn her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You make it in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord God Almighty, whom you serve. Who has given you a hopeful door? He will take you there in Jesus' name. Amen. The name of the Lord will be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. John chapter 21. John chapter 21. We're going to read from 15 to 17. That's three verses. John. Not first John. Are we there? Verse 15. Verse 15. So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me more than this? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. Verse 16. He said, He said to him again, the second time. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yes, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Verse 17. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto the Lord, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. Praise, praise the Lord. Pastors, deacons and deaconesses, the ushers, the gospel lights, everyone that are here. Lord is saying, There is a calling, a purpose. Praise the Lord. Do you love the Lord? Most especially, most especially to the pastor. The Lord said, If you love me, feed my sheep. To feel the sheep is to make sure that you give them spiritual nourishment. For the Bible says, what shall it profit a man? If he shall gain the whole world. And what? And what shall a man give in his name? What is it? Praise the Lord. Remember the great apostle Nunere. Nunere. May so rest in peace. He will say, I have not come to teach you how to make money. But I have come to teach you how to do what? How to make everything. If you look at his assembly before he passed on, it was about the business of Christ. Praise the Lord. There is something that is greater than money. It's important. Money is the will of evangelism. Through it, the gospel prospers. Through it, we hold crusades. Praise the Lord. Amen. But it is just the will of evangelism. Through it, we buy a land. Through it, we build a cathedral. The cathedral is not the church. You are the church. Not church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 4, verse 17. And tell Antipas, tell Adepetu, tell him, tell him to take heed to the ministry which he has received in the 
the law to ensure thy security. How beautiful the way our brother is doing that too. It gives me more momentum. Ginger. Do you understand? Take heed to the ministry that the Lord has committed to your family. This might be your ministry. Aside from every other thing you do. And if the trumpet sound, it will answer my servant. Where is the talent I give to you? You will be held accountable. This is the best guitar. A visitor, a stranger, comes to play it. Not a member of the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For some months now. Then for some weeks now, I have not come. And it remains there. Now they are not there to bring out the guitar, including the speaker. And we have a gifted hand in the church. We can play this. Take it. Take it. Take it to the ministry that is committed to your family. You are not going to hold the pastor accountable. No, you are not going to hold Pastor Chris accountable. When the trumpet sound, you cannot say that he thinks he taught you everything. No, you can't. You have the Bible. Mm. You cannot hold me responsible. The Holy Spirit has been speaking to you. You have been rebelling. You have been refusing to listen. I stand at the door of your heart. And I do what? I know. If any man open, I will enter. Meaning that you are not under compulsion. It was only one man. Well, you see, God is. He deals with different people. Different people. My brother told us of that man that was going to, you know, persecute the, the church. And on his way to Damascus, the Lord stopped him. He said, Why persecuted thou me? And from that day, the spy said, No one can hit against the street. That is how he chose to be with that man. Because he knew that he's going to use him. He's going to have some greater privileges. Praise the Lord. Ten Ejibon. That's why I said we should put your name there. You are in the house of the Lord. You are only watching for the mistakes. It should have been done like this. And the pastor's church is in heaven. How do you know? When a fruit matures, we are maturing Christian. Uh, Christian. I think our brother said to the other day, we are maturing Christian. Once you mature, you reach the state of perfection. The fruit must drop and begin to rot and die. Then you will go to heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our late daddy is a matured Christian. He has come to be with the Lord. He has joined the host of heaven. Watch Amen. Us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But you are what? You are what? So, the church may not be perfect. Don't say because of brother A, you leave the church today. Because of brother C, you leave the church. Or you are not going to talk to sister Z. No, may that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Take adequate to. Take ease to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord that thou fearest. That thou fearest. If you want to understand why the Lord said take heed, then you go and ask Eli. He was the high priest. He 
he was being trained. But his children, his children, you know what happened. They rebelled. They became terrible. And I'm sure you say, okay, these are children. They will be going. They will go out of it. Don't worry. He will not beat them. And he's also a minister that is taking care of the church in so much way. And he does not know how to look at those children and plug those that he needs to be plugged. So I it's okay, it's okay. They are children, they will go out of it. They will not go out of it. The Bible says, teach a child the way he should go. When he grow up, what will happen? They will not depart from it. So the Lord rejected him. The Lord rejected him. Because of his children. So he wants to go find a ministry. What type of family do you have? Do you take it to your own family? Your husband, your wife, your children. It's very important for us to fulfill the ministry the Lord has committed to our hands. Praise the Lord. Amen. How do you fulfill the ministry? I'm rounding up now. I want you to write it down. Number one, aside from all the scriptures we have uh, uh, read, in Abacom chapter 2, verse 2, the Bible says, write down the vision. Don't play with vision. When you receive heavenly vision, do not play with it. There is a difference from the vision that comes directly from the world and the one that comes through another person. Praise the Lord. You remember the story of the young and the old prophet in the Bible? The Lord told him, go to this way. When you get to the city, do your job. When you finish, go out. Do not stay, do not eat, do not do everything. Then the old prophet, he told him, young man, I have been a pastor for more than 25 years. I own big I'm a prophet. I'm also a pastor like you. Don't worry about that. Don't come. You have done a good job. Just stay, eat, drink. Then tomorrow you will take off. And he listened. Do you know what, what happened to him? Who can tell me what happened to him? For disobeying the word of the Lord, the white animal came and kept him in bondage. See, today, you keep bothering me. The old prophet was never promised. Check the scripture. The old prophet. So take heed. So I saw a poster beside us here. It's not a take <laughs> it's an enchantment. I've seen that picture. Uh, <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Be careful. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you receive vision of the Lord, write it down. Abacom chapter 3, 2 verse 2. Praise the Lord. Amen. Understand the mission. The mission is very simple. Go into all the world. All over, I preach the good news to all creation. Don't preach to the Igbos and leave the Yorubas. Don't preach to the Yorubas and leave the outer. Go to the Nook and Crane, don't stay only in Port Harcourt. You are not called to be in the cities alone. Praise the Lord. And you must believe. That's the third one. First is write down the vision, understand the vision and the mission. Number three, believe. 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 The danger of unbelief is so great in the church. And that is why, you know, when, when the Bible said, I don't eat the Holy Communion as an irreverent believer. You know, you are not reverent to the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. You don't believe that it is sufficient. You still believe that after you have taken the Holy Communion, you will still visit a living. I take a 
carry that he has sucked in a black stool. You still believe that? Don't be part of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. But when you believe that he is all that you know is the Son of Satan, he is your Lord and Master. You have accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Then you are good to go. Praise the Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. He said, Believe the Lord your God. Ye shall what? Believe his prophet. What will happen? Succeed. What shall happen? Believe. And also, very important, do not give to that. Pray for the mission. Pray for the church. Pray for the nation. Pray for you must pray. If you don't know how to pray, remember Daniel. He never jumped into it. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Pray that the Lord God Almighty will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And these four things that I've given you, make sure that you are faithful. And you are faithfully doing it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Make yourself teachable. That's the only way you can even begin to teach. Make sure that you are what? Teachable. Be submissive. Be what? And finally, you must make sure that you make yourself available. The Lord is going to use a vessel that is available. Praise the Lord. Amen. Number one, if you come to the church late, you might not be a visible vessel. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are not consistent, we see you today, we don't see you tomorrow. If you begin to come to late, you will feel offense. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because you see, I'm not available. Make yourself and as you do so, the Lord God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Be careful for nothing. Don't be afraid of how will the church be run. How will we have money to do this or to do that? See, in Deuteronomy 8, verse 18, the Bible said that I teach you how to do what? To make sure. He will teach you. He will teach the church. It is the church. That will carry the church. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord will use you as a church to minister to his church. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is in your hands to make bread. He will open unto you the mysteries in the secret places. He will give you good and great secret attributes. And people will be wondering, wow, what is this guy? So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will empower you Amen. so that you can be effective in the church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us rise on our feet. You have heard the word of the Lord today. He has spoken to you. I want you to go to the Lord in prayer. Go to the Lord in prayer. And ask that the Lord should give you the grace to be the doers of Speak to the Lord. And in Corinthians chapter 9, 11 to 14, the Lord said that the church should take good care of the prophet, the servant of God. When you do this, it proclaims a blessing. You will never die. Amen. Your business will never collapse. Your health will never rebel against you. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. He is your helper. He is your sanctifier. He is the counselor. He is the equipment. Whatever he says, he brings it to pass. He will give you the grace to fulfill your ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are God. Give us the grace to fulfill our ministry. Help us in all ways in 
mighty name. Send us help from your sanctuary. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Strengthen us. Settle us. Give us good health. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. Thank you, eternal Lord of ages. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen.